The seven star Hisuian Typhlosion Terror Raid event is now live in Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details in today's video as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So running over this coming weekend as of recording this video on the 3rd of November until the 5th of November, we're going to see the first phase of the Hisuian Typhlosion enter into Scarlet and Violet. And the second phase, for those of you who aren't available to get it this weekend or want to go for the raid again next weekend, it is available for a second phase from the 10th to the 12th of November. So it's going to have two phases like we normally see with the seven star terror raids. It is going to be level 100. It will have its hidden ability Frisk. It's not going to have any value in this raid at all. It will have the moves Infernal Parade, Flamethrower, Will-O-Wisp, Focus Blast, and it will have the additional moves Will-O-Wisp, Sunny Day, and of course, it will have the Mightiest Mark as well. So no eruption on this Hisuian Typhlosion. Now, it is going to be a Fire Terror type. Of course, it is going to have no Shiny Raid, so it won't be available as a Shiny Pokemon, as always with the 7-star raids. It will have a modest nature and is only catchable once per save file. The item drops, you are going to get a lot of good drops as well from this raid as per usual with the 7 star terror raids. Lots of XL candies and lots of other high cost items, ability patches, nuggets, bottle caps and ability capsules as well as your regular kind of item drops from raids. And if you've got the glimmering charm as well, you're going to get the additional drops from the raid as well which would be 12 terra fire shards on top of every time you kind of run through the raid so really good for farming items in the game and it's going to be the first time that we're going to be able to access Hisuian Typhlosion in Scarlet and Violet as well. So to access this event in your game as usual you want to come down to your poker portal make sure that you are connected to the internet and then come down to your mystery gifts and then in mystery gifts come to check poker portal news it'll connect to the internet and it will update all of the terror raid dens on your map once you've done that come to your map and then you'll be able to locate the terror raid den and you want to just head directly over to it. It will look like this, a Terrifier symbol, looking like a six star Terror Raid, but it will indeed be a seven star Terror Raid. So the builds that we're going to feature in today's video are going to be four builds altogether, but two of them are going to be probably better than all of the rest. And they are going to be Vaporeon and Gudra. Manaphy is very good. We featured that in a preview article along with the Vaporeon and the Snorlax. And the Snorlax is a one I'm just throwing in at the end because it is an alternative option that I do think has some legs in this raid. But if you're wanting the consistency, if you're wanting a way to farm these raids over the weekend, you can do that reliably with this Vaporeon and the Gudra. So you've got two really solid options there. We were on stream just earlier tonight and tested these out over and over again and they worked out pretty well and I don't see a way where these builds don't work for you over the weekend. So they're going to make it easy for you to go in and get the Hisuian Typhlosion in your game solo by yourself. And as always with these builds, they will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at them to put them together in your game. So do check out the description of the video and all the information will be there for you to check out. So the Vaporeon is going to be a level 100. Make sure you do hyper train all of the stats in all of the builds that we feature, whichever one you're putting together. The Aporion is going to be a water terror type. It is going to have the shell bell as its held item. So it gives it a line of recovery in the raid level 100, like we say. And the moveset is going to be Rain Dance, Calm Mind, Fake Tears and Surf with the hidden ability Hydration. That's going to allow you to recover any status conditions as long as it's raining at the end of every turn. So if you do get burned, it's going to go away at the end of every turn, meaning that the Infernal Parade is not going to be double damaged like it would be otherwise. The EV spread is going to be 252 in special attack, 252 in special defense, the rest put into HP, which would be that four, and then a modest nature on top of that as well. So that is the build for the Vaporeon, a very, very solid build. We'll go into the raid and I'll show you exactly how this one performs in a moment. The next one up is going to be Gudra. It is going to have the water terror typing on there. Again, it's going to have the shell bell as a line of recovery. Level 100, all hyper trained, of course. And the moveset of tearful luck, rain dance, acid spray and weather ball. Hydration, again, is going to be the ability on the Gudra. EV spread very much like the Vaporeon. Going to be 252 in special attack, 252 in special defense and the rest put into that HP stat 
with a modest nature. So the basic premise of this one is going to be to turn one, get your rain dance up. So you overwrite the sunny day once the Typhlosion sets that up. And it also gets you in a place where if it does burn you like it probably is going to turn one then you're going to be able to activate that hydration get rid of the burns for the rest of the time the rain is active on the field then you're going to go for weather balls or acid sprays and wait for that turn three or four where the typhlosion nullifies the stats on its side of the field after that point try and get two tearful looks off that's going to reduce the special attack on the Typhlosion by minus two. So when the shield goes up, it's not going to be hitting you for as much damage. So it's going to mean that you're going to be able to kind of complete the rest of your setup with the Gudra really easily. Then after the shield's gone up or just before that, start using your acid sprays. And that's going to reduce the special defense on the Hisuian Typhlosion by two stages every time you use it. And then make sure the rain is on the field and you use that weather ball. It's going to be a base 100 water type attack. And then once you do terrestrialize, you're going to be able to cut through the Typhlosion pretty easily and close up the raid very, very easily with the recovery you've got from the Shell Bell, from all the damage that you're doing, the general bulk that Gudra has and the resistances that it has while you're setting up as well makes it very easy, a very solid build and one that I would definitely recommend to take in to this raid this weekend. Next up is another Pokemon that we featured in our preview article and it is going to be Manaphy. If you do have access to Manaphy in your game, it's going to be a really good option to go in with. You've got the Shell Bell as the held item, level 100, of course, going to have the Terra Water type on there as well. And the moveset is going to be Rain Dance, Take Heart, or you could go Tail Glow there. It's up to you. Take Heart is a really nice ability that gives you kind of the Calm Mind boosts that you would get from this special attack, special defense, as well as removing any status conditions as well. So you've not got so much reliance on Rain Dance, whereas the Tail Glow gives you plus three in special attack. So it's a very quick setup. Fake Tears is the other move and then Surf. So the basic premise is to wait until that Hisuian Typhlosion has nullified its stats on its side of the field before the shield goes up. Get those Fake Tears off to reduce that special defense. Try and get it to minus six. So using three Fake Tears before the shield goes up. Once the shield's up, the Fake Tears won't be effective anymore. You won't be able to use it through the shield. So it's really important to do that before the shield goes up. Then use your Take Heart. Get your special attack boosted up. Make sure the rain's on the field. Surf and spam that until you can terrestrialize. And again, you're going to be able to really take advantage of the Shell Bell recovery here just to stay on the field once you've got that set up in place and then beat the Suian Typhlosion pretty easily with this Manaphy. And the final one I am throwing in here. I did say on stream I was going to push it in because I do feel like it's a decent option going into this raid. Now Snorlax you might think is going to have issues, especially with that Focus Blast being present on the Hisuian Typhlosion, but I do think a very good option nonetheless, and you've got a way to get around the Will-O-Wisp as well because of the facade that we're using. So level 100, Terra Normal type, Shell Bell is the held item on here. The moveset is going to be Belly Drum, Screech, Amnesia and Facade. And the ability is going to be Thick Fat with the EV spread of 252 in Attack, 252 in Special Defense with an Adamant Nature. And the rest of those EVs, the six remaining put into the HP. And then the basic premise of this moveset is going to be Turn 1 and Turn 2, go for your Amnesia. Then when those stats are nullified on the Hisui and Typhlosion, you're going to go for Screeches going to try and get three off two is fine and then the shield should go up after that now after this stage you're going to try and get yourself in a healthy position it might mean that you need to be knocked out but you might not need to you might need to heal cheer but get yourself in a position where after your stats are nullified you can get another amnesia up and then get a belly drum off and then utilize that facade when you are burned because you are inevitably going to get burned by the hisuian typhlosion Facade is going to be double damage. It's not going to be affected by the burn. So you're going to be able to do huge damage. And once you can terrestrialize with the Snorlax, you're going to be able to do huge damage with that facade, with the belly drum and with those screeches already set up before the shield went up. So a decent option, not something I would say highly recommend is something consistent to take into the weekend. But if you're a Snorlax fan and you want to try it out, I think it's a very good option. We had very bad RNG when we tried this this build out and we still managed to beat the Hisuian Typhlosion pretty easily with it so I do think it's a decent option and one for you Snorlax fans out there that this build can work and will be effective just might not be as effective as some of the other options that we've covered in today's video so they're the builds that we featured as always they will be down in the description below 
and like always we'll jump into the raid and i'll show you how to do it with this vaporeon very very easily oh so once you get into the raid itself you're going to see the typhlosion go straight away for a will-o-wisp as you see here it goes for it into one of our partner and pokemon not onto us this first turn so the first turn what we can do is actually just go for a calm mind here because it's likely going to go for a will o wisp or a sunny day turn one we do avoid the will o wisp there so you can get a little bit lucky first time it's happened to us and we've done multiple raids tonight so get a calm mind up first off it's going to just mean that we're able to take those special attacks a little bit easier the typhlosion now going to get the sunny day up of course now the next thing that we want to do is overwrite that sunny day with our rain dance so this is going to make it a little bit easier for us to take those will o wisps if we do get burnt going forward in the match meaning that those burns aren't going to be an issue and the infernal parade can't get that double damage because the hydration going to heal any status conditions at the end of every turn so here we can go for another calm mind as well in this stage because focus blast if it does hit it does have the secondary effect that it can lower your special defense so you just want to make sure that you're kind of keeping an eye on that at the moment because that is something just to be aware of as we go forward in the raid of course um we do get that boost plus one and plus one in our special attack and special defense and this is the moment that we're waiting for for that typhlosion to nullify its stats on its side of the field now after this stage we'll probably take some of terror orb charge but here we just want to concentrate on going for those fake tiers now i'm going to take some attacks in the process but because of those combines we take everything pretty comfortably and we're going to get this typhlosion's special defense ideally down to minus six before its shield goes up so we've got one off we should get another one off and hopefully we can get a third one off because if we can get it down to minus six it's going to make the end game of this raid a lot easier so special defense drop there is well not ideal so the rng will play a part in this raid because of the secondary effects that you do see sometimes from the moves that the typhlosion has focus blast a really low accurate move but it can hit and you can see that the will-o-wisp is missing here so we're kind of getting a bit evened out overall but we do get that third fake tears off which is huge for us going forward now the rain does end keep an eye on your rain the shield goes up and we're in a good spot it probably will nullify stat boosts on our side of the field at some point but we need to prioritize getting our rain dance up now the typhlosion will likely go for a will-o-wisp once that shields up um, but once you've got your rain dance up, you don't really need to worry about this too much because uh, with the rain up at the end of this turn, the hydration is going to kick in and it's going to cure you from that will-o-wisp burn, which is the big thing here, as you can see there. And now we can go for another combine, but our stats haven't been nullified yet and we're pretty low, so you want to keep an eye on this. Probably a good idea to get a surf off while we can with the rain up, do some decent damage in the process. And the main thing is getting some health back as well we do get a critical hit there so a way more damage recovery uh, than we would normally likely do in that situation and now you can see it's nullifying the stats on our side of the field so this is where we need to prioritize going for those calm minds now get those boosted up and into a position where we aren't going to be taking big damage from the non-fire type attacks like the infernal parade like the focus blast if that does come out and then we're going to be able to kind of expedite our attack power as well in this stage so we probably want to get two to three car mines off before we start attacking you can see the will-o-wisps are coming out you're kind of fine if it just starts going for those will-o-wisps because as long as the rain is on the field we're just going to heal that off with the hydration at the end of every turn we're not going to be in any danger of getting knocked out either especially with the car mine set up uh, boosting our special defense is going to give us complete protection against the typhlosion the only thing that can go wrong is a critical hit and then boosting our attack power through that special attack as well so the infernal parade you can see coming out here it's trying to utilize that combination of will-o-wisp infernal parade but it's not able to because of the hydration now we're plus three the typhlosion's minus six we're gonna be in a good spot to actually get rid of the shield now though we're not terrestrialized and the rain has just ended uh we're in not the best of spots but not in the worst of spots either because um the will-o-wisp going on here it does mean that the infernal parade can come out and do big damage this next turn but at the same time we have got those three combines already set up so we're in a good spot just to yeah it's gonna go a sunny day get the rain dance up once again hopefully it doesn't double attack us here it doesn't so we'll get the rain dance up uh, the infernal parade will be double damage here which does decent ish damage but like i say with those combines up at this stage of the raid we're not in any danger so we get the rain dance up we'll heal that will-o-wisp 
we see a focus blast finally miss but um now we're in that good spot where we can surf again we're not even at this point where we can terrestrialize yet so after this one we'll be able to terrestrialize but you're breaking the shield at this stage and then you're going to be able to clean up the raid after this one so it's going to be a very quick one with the Porion. and you can see we've had some good rng throughout the raid some bad rng um, but it all kind of evens out in the end. Sometimes you can get terrible RNG throughout the raid, but you can see now we can just terrestrialize with our Vaporeon, and that is going to be the end of this Typhlosion, and it is that easy. Um, if you just follow some of the guidelines, I think it's when the Typhlosion nullifies the sat on its side of the field, then you prioritize going for those fake tiers, then when it nullifies the stats on your side of the field, which it'll do after that shield goes up, like two turns after the shield goes up, then prioritize getting your calm minds up. Just keep on top of the rain dances. So you've got the rain on the field as long as you can uh, to make sure that hydration's in effect so those burns don't affect you. So the infernal parade doesn't get that double damage. And then just wait till you can terrestrialize and you can knock out the Typhlosion. It's easy as that with the Vaporeon. And it probably is my favorite build that we featured today and probably one of the more consistent ones you'll be able to get all of the nice item drops that you'll be able to get from the raid and of course if you want to farm this raid you can come to your map here the seven star raid will only appear once per day but you can skip around this by coming to your home menu coming down into system settings then down into system then into date and time into date and time itself make sure that your synchronized clock for the internet is set to off and then just toggle through here don't change anything hit ok Hit your home menu come back into the game and everything should respawn and you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid then once again wherever it is on your map and then you can fly over to it and bomb away with the builds that we featured today so that is everything for today's video friends they are some of the builds that i would suggest taking in this weekend that you're going to have no trouble with between the vaporeon and the gudra you're going to have an easy time farming the Hisuian Typhlosion for those good item drops or just grabbing it in your game while the event is running. Hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like on the video. Do make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Of course, I think with this particular raid, there are going to be lots of really good builds that you can go in and solo this with and probably more will be discovered over the next week before next week's event goes live. And of course, if we've got any better builds to feature we will feature them here on the channel so you're all up to date and you've got a full array of options to go forward with to make getting these items farming the history and type version as easy as possible going forward so thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye